Hey guys, this is Blair13579 here, and today I'm going to be starting something new that hopefully I'll be able to do fairly often. Um, I'm going to be doing some online Kid Icarus matches, and I'll be doing some of both, I guess. Um, if you don't know, there's Light vs. Dark and Free For All, so... I'm just going to start with some light versus dark, and yeah, we'll just try this out. Um, I know you're probably expecting a sunshine video soon. No, I haven't forgot about that. They're still coming. Um, I'm going to try some of both, and you can tell me which one you like better, which one you'd rather see. Frankly, I like light versus dark better, but this is for you guys, so... Uh, sorry if the camera shakes a little bit, but anyway, I'll just start this off here. So, uh, I'm using a Violet Palm, which is one of my stronger weapons, actually. Um, it has a 6 range power, so it's good for these kinds of battles. I don't use it more for solo play as for online, but I think it's pretty good considering I already have a, a defeat, so the charged attacks is what really does the damage. They can do about a hundred damage for one of those, so um, yeah, this isn't looking too difficult actually. Maybe I just got a few easy guys or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm just pretty good. We'll see. Um, whoa. Come on. Oh, almost got him. Demon Vine. But yeah, if you could already guess, this weapon is nonsense in melee, so... Go, got him. Um, another thing, well, I guess I should explain some stuff in case people haven't played this before. Um, basically, light versus dark is three versus three, and each team has a life bar, as you can see right there. Um, and when a player is defeated, their life bar for their team goes down. And when their whole team's life bar is done, then the person who died last becomes the angel. So either pit or dark pit. And, um, shoot. And, um, basically when they die, their team loses. I have a suspicion that even when a team member is killed, even if they're not an angel, that the angel's life bar still goes down, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. It shouldn't be, but that's what I've witnessed, so, at least. Um, anyway, though, another thing about becoming the angel is that you never know what weapon you're going to get because the weapon changes when you become the angel. So, that's another thing about the angels I don't really like. Um, but anyway, this is just a, a test, per se. I should move the camera over, I know. I'll do that. I'm just putting up another shield, which is, that's very strategic, but unfortunately, Strategy is not all there is. So let's see if we can get him. Oh, so close. I went flying there. There we go. <coughs> anyway, I think I got him there. Um, you can't see it right now, but I got 2,231 points. You can see there which is first out of Ultra 1, so that's always nice. 
There you can see the weapon. I'll just leave it up for a little while there. Um, something else I'm going to mention. There are powers in this game that you can use to um, for various effects to happen. This is one. It's a laser. Um, this is another. It's an explosive flame. And they're not always damaging attacks. This one's tirelessness, so you can run around and you don't get tired until it wears off. And then there's health recovery, which I'm not going to show you. I don't have a health bar right now in the training room or in the waiting room. But, um, yeah, they can all be pretty useful. Sorry about that lighting. Um, not as visible when you're playing, but still noticeable. Anyway, time for a second match. Got him. Sheesh. He's trying to fake us out over there. I don't want to get up there. I want to try to see if I can hit him from afar, but I guess I can't, so I'm just going to ignore him. whole team I just took down in a matter of two seconds about. Oh no. Good. I don't like becoming the angel. I like my weapon here because the weapon is basically, well, it makes, um, it makes this match either really easy or really hard. Because if you have a strong weapon, and of course if you already played this game or know anything about it, you already know this. The stronger your weapon, the more your life bar goes down when you're hit. Or when you're uh, killed, I guess you could say. Um, and also, obviously, it determines how... How good you're going to be able to, like, play. So, um... The weapon is the whole thing, basically. If you have a good weapon, and nobody can stop you, then, well, you're set, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so I have this Violet Palm that I've been using, and for free-for-all, I'll do one more match, I'll say. Um, in free-for-all, it's basically what it sounds like. Six people all trying to get the most points, really, and you get points from being the one to kill people also. I don't know what else you can get it from, maybe doing a lot of damage, or... I know there's Daybreak, which is a sort of a Dragoon thing, but, um... You collect three pieces and unlock, unleash a massive attack, but... Um... Anyway... So, this one has a mystery bonus, so whoever wins... Or actually, at the end, there's a chance that you could get a special item. And that right there is a Centurion Assist, which basically he follows you around and shoots people for you. So, I'm sorry if my hand's getting in the way, um, I can't really do much about that. So, um... I'll try my best, but unfortunately this game uses the stylus and it might get in the way sometimes, so... Not unfortunately it uses the stylus, unfortunately it's going to get in the way. Because <laughs> I, I gotta say, a lot of people don't like the controls in this game, but... I love them, really. Like, there's only... Well, 
just, you know, I really like the controls in this game. Um, because it's easy to, it's easy to do everything once you get used to it. So, there, it's, it's a little awkward at first. You gotta get used to it. I mean, I'm using the stand right now, but only because it's in a good spot to record it, so. Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is that I wouldn't, I use the stand for the most part, but it hurt my back and it was a little uncomfortable. So I switched to this and honestly, it's been really good just playing it by itself. Um, and so anyway, but once you get used to it, there's really nothing to be iffy about. It's just a really good game, and if you have a 3DS, I would recommend getting it. Because, well, it's worth your money. That's all I'm gonna say. So I guess I should talk about what's going on. Uh, Dark Pit's out, and he's over there, being a wimp hiding. But unfortunately for him, Oh, he's got the shield up. Oh well, though. My forward dash charge shots are no match for anybody. And I don't think I got him there, but oh well. Yeah, he got him. Oh well. Um, okay, so that's all, all I'm going to do for this match. I didn't win the Wolf Claws. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this match. Compact Arm. So, next time I'll do some free-for-all matches. So that you can see what that's like. And then you can decide which one you like better, which one you want to see. And I'll do that. So, uh... Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more.